Hey you guys, it's that time. Pick a story where in one of the decks or all of the decks could be a story or a message for you. Um, so what I like to do is hold each deck up to the camera so that you can see if it's resonating with you, starting with deck number one. Could your story or message be here in deck number one? Or could your story or message be here in deck number two? Could your story or message be here? Could it be deck number three? Is your story message here in deck number three? All right, I hope you have made your selection. Never have to overthink it. Uh, so we have the Hierophant, the Tower, The Eight of Swords. We have the Nine of Cups. The Ace of Swords. Then we have the Sun, overall energy. Four of Cups. Two of Wands. Okay. So I feel like the overall energy um, is about you feeling inspired or feeling renewed or motivated and just overall optimistic about the future or optimistic about your situation. You might have some sort of good news on the way. And it also looks like if you felt like you were being ignored or if you were bored, um, I feel like something's happening where now you're getting ready to have fun. Um, now someone is paying attention to you. You're getting some sort of recognition. Um, it also could be that the other way around, maybe someone needed attention from you. And it looks like finally, you know, they're paying attention to you or giving you what you need. If you are dating and you've been putting yourself out there, uh, meeting new people, it kind of looks like maybe you have not really been connecting with the type of people that you're interested in. But with the sun coming out, finally, I do feel like you connect with someone who grabs your attention and you're like, oh, finally, like, okay, who is this? You're exciting, you're entertaining. Tell me more. So I feel like you are uh, really excited about um, a, a new love potential. Now, looks like you're also going to be able to move forward with plans and you had to wait for some sort of response at first. Like maybe you couldn't move forward until you secured a job or maybe you couldn't move forward until you secured, um, you know, something. And I feel like now you have that security. Mm, I feel like also the truth is going to be shocking or the truth is getting ready to come out. I feel like something's also changing, like the status quo, something that you were used to doing. Um, I feel like your routine or something that you... Um, you know, you have in place. It's like something that is structured is falling apart. Um, yeah. And, and that can even be, unfortunately, if those of you, it's weird because I just felt like you had some form of security, but now it looks like maybe that gets destroyed. Something that was giving you security. Mm, it's like you're having to take a break from the norm or something is forcing you to open your eyes. Um, mm, if you kept believing in things that other people have put in place for you, I feel like it's going to be obliterated because you need to see something um, you need to start your own belief system or maybe you need to uh, create your own 
type of relationship. Maybe you need to create your own reality. Like something's going on where you're taking a break from the norm or you're being forced out. I also feel like on a global scale, something's going on with the government or the system that we know, the system that is currently in place. Um, I would also be prepared for any sudden changes um, dealing with your financial institution um, or results from the doctor. Excuse me, some of you might find out something shocking in regards to your medical history um, or some sort of results here. You might have to start all over. You were trying to do something in a way that is normal or traditional, but it's being, you're being thrown off course. And I feel like whatever this is, you're like, oh my God, I don't know how to handle this. Like, I'm used to something going this way or I'm used to something going that way. And it was just taken from me. Now what do I do? I feel like you just need to get out of your head and um, remain confident about whatever it was that you were confident about at first. You might feel that your uh, faith gets destroyed but then I feel like it's being re restored or rebuilt. It's just that you don't understand how to process some sort of disruption. Um, hmm. You, it's, something's weird going on. Okay, so say that you're in a relationship. I feel like this is, it depends on your situation. Um, if you're single, I feel like there's still some sort of exciting new changes coming even if something happens really fast and you know you're like oh my god okay I gotta restructure my whole life say you got a uh, if you're single you got a job um, some, it's the job you always wanted but it's gonna require you to rearrange your entire life um, because it, it may come with a lot of responsibilities something is like an eye-opener um, or if you were comfortable at some sort of nine to five you know, maybe you have some sort of um, big major position and then all of a sudden that gets taken away from you and you have to uh, become an independent contractor. If you're in a relationship, if you were happy and settled in some sort of committed relationship, it might get taken away from you all of a sudden or you just something falls apart and it's like you're no longer committed and you're like, what's going on? What am I doing? Um, it does look like some sort of news or message came in and you felt like well, now what am I supposed to do hmm but I feel like maybe something could be like a blessing in disguise like you are unaware of the fact that you know you know you you just got uh, saved from something so it might seem like something terrible is happening but at the end of the day I feel like Something is a uh, wish fulfilled or a dream come true. I feel like you're also having some sort of instant clarity about a situation. Some news I feel like is getting ready to change your entire perspective. Mm. Something is going on in regards to I feel like anyone that's in jail or prison too. It might be some sort of unexpected changes happening, like hopefully a shorter sentence. Um, but I feel like there are some sort of unexpected changes in regards to anyone that has been in jail or incarcerated. All right, so I'm going to clarify uh, the tower here and see what this is. I also feel like something's going on, something happens live on air, like someone might get, the truth might get exposed. Let's say you are 
watching the news and they're talking about, you know, this happened and that happened. And then someone just interrupts or the camera redirects to like what's really going on or the truth gets exposed. I feel like live on camera. It can be disastrous. I know nobody's performing right now, but it also it does take me to a situation where an artist might be performing on live TV and then usually it's pre-recorded, but it's not it's not um, making a sound or there's some sort of malfunction. Who was that that girl? She started doing some sort of hold down dance when when the live went out or she had to sing live and I felt bad for her. This it was somebody's little sister. Like if Hillary Duff has like a little sister, I think it was her sister or something like that. I think it happened on SNL. But it just does look like maybe a live performance gone wrong. Something in regards to a fire sign, a fire sign may have caused some sort of decay or destruction in your life. Um, maybe they came and exposed someone. This also could be like a whistleblower. Someone might be a journalist and they're shedding light on the hidden truths about something. Um, the political structure could be falling apart. Classes could be canceled. I feel too like what might be happening is if you get hired and you get a start date, something happens that is like a reset. And it's just like, what? Like, but I got my start date, but something happens and you don't get to start that day. Like something out of your control, beyond their control. Um, even if you just got an apartment, you're supposed to move into it. And then turns out, you know, there there was a fire in the apartment, like right before you moved in. And it's like, oh, sorry, we've got to repair this now. So something happens like you were all prepared for something. And then it falls apart. Something's not going to go as planned. Mm, yeah, see, something had been prepared Something had already been set in place and good to go. And then out of nowhere, it may fall apart. And this is so that you can do some soul searching because you're being affected by whatever this is. Hmm. Let me look at this Hierophant. <laughs> oh my god, my card's trying to do a tower. You may be unaware that you disturbed someone's peace or like you were used as a vessel to disrupt something. Yeah, I feel like something was going on that you were unaware of. You're unaware of something. In a love situation, unfortunately, it does kind of look like you you were minding your own business. You connected with someone. You didn't know that they were talking to somebody. And then just by you and this person interacting, this person suddenly decides that they don't want to be in a relationship with whoever they're with. Because I feel like some sort of structured relationship falls apart because of some sort of interaction. But you are unaware of, I feel like you're, oh, maybe you are, but I feel like you're unaware for the most part. Hmm. 
Hmm. Somebody's been keeping a secret. Somebody could also out somebody. Hmm. I feel like you are going to have some sort of anxiety about this, whatever it is. But you've got to think quick. Don't overthink. Just make a decision. I see you also being at peace with whatever happens, too. And like I said, it does also look like something gets canceled, like classes. Um, hmm, so once this truth comes out or someone shares this secret, you know, like I said, it's, it's some sort of initial confusion. Um, I feel like at first you're like, I don't know how to feel about that. You may receive some sort of unexpected invitation to something too, and it still it just throws you off like you weren't expecting to get to get an invitation for something, but you do. If someone has been hiding from you, something also looks like uh, someone's hiding spot gets exposed um, so someone does not have anywhere to hide and it's just like where do I go now not being funny but you know somebody could need like an extermination and let's say you let's just say you were remodeling a home and so you took out some kitchen cabinets and then all of a sudden all these bugs started scattering everywhere it's just like oh my god we're exposed like i kind of feel like something like that is happening like someone's weak spot or vulnerabilities or private space has been exposed and it does look like you go from being uh having anxiety about it to being at peace with it i'm just looking at the transition of energies see you're looking down you're in denial you don't want to admit something maybe you're ashamed maybe you feel guilty and then you're like you know what it is what it is so you just kind of change that energy and make peace with it They're the tower again. So th whatever falls apart is a blessing in disguise. It's for the best. Mm -hmm. Someone's plans get exposed. Someone also may have done something on purpose. Like, I'm getting something about being unaware of some sort of trouble being caused, but then I also get someone who did something on purpose. It could have been that someone tried to destroy you, but it ends up being a good thing for you. And then it's just like, it works in your favor. So, let's say for, I don't know if you've ever seen Mean Girls, but I'm thinking about when they were trying to destroy, um, oh, what is her name? Well, Lindsay Lohan's character. And, not Lindsay Lohan's character, um, what's her name? Oh my God, I love her. The Mean Girl. Rachel McAdams. Okay. I can't remember her, the character name, but they were, they were trying to, you know, destroy her. 
and they gave her foot cream to put on her face and told her, oh no, it's gonna make your face really smooth or whatever. But they were really trying to embarrass her and for whatever odd reason, think that her boyfriend was gonna think her face smelled like a foot. But when he smelled her face, he was like, mmm, peppermint. And, and so he like kissed her or whatever. And they were like, damn, that didn't work. And then it was something else they did. Then I know they cut the holes out of her shirt and um, thought that she was going to get embarrassed by having two empty spaces by her boobs. But it turned out everybody, all the girls started doing it. It turned into like a fashion trend. So it's just like something might backfire, basically. It's like... If somebody was trying to destroy you, I feel like it's going to backfire. Something's going to work in your favor. And you're like, oh, okay. Um, even if you do something to yourself and you were trying to do something uh, to sabotage yourself or your situation, I feel like it backfires and it turns out to be a good thing. Someone also might do something for attention that is like super destructive. Ace of Swords, Ace of Swords. So again, this is reiterating that you're going to have some sort of clarity. I feel that this is about the truth coming out, you being enlightened. I feel like you're also going to learn something about yourself or discover something about yourself by accident. Maybe you have some sort of gift you didn't know you had, but had something not happened, you wouldn't have known that you had that gift. I feel like something's going to help you overcome your anxiety. I feel like somebody was initially trying to hold back some information or withhold information, but it, you know, like I said, it's coming out. Definitely could be a fire sign that comes forward or a fire sign have something to do with your situation. Aries Leo Sagittarius. Could also be um, a Taurus or a Virgo involved, but I definitely feel like a fire sign has something to do with whatever is going on with your life right now. It could be good or bad. I feel like for you, it's gonna end up good, being a good thing. I don't know what that person's intentions were, um, but I feel like whatever it was, it might backfire on them and work in your favor. Yeah. Or if you are a fire sign and there was something that you were trying to do to yourself, you were trying to sabotage something, it turns out just being a good thing. It's like you didn't sabotage anything, you actually made something better. Yeah, so that's, that's what I'm getting from you know, this first deck. So hopefully those messages will resonate with you. Let's go ahead and move on to deck number two. We have the chariot. The knight of cups. Six of Wands, the Moon, the Fool, overall energy we have the Six of Swords, <clears throat> Ten of Wands, Page of Cups. Alright, so it looks like you guys might be playing something by ear um, and just kind of going with the flow of things. It does look like you're being uh, guided or directed in a different direction. I feel like you're also moving past some sort of difficult situation. Um, 
I feel like you're about to take a bit of a break or have some sort of ease. If you had been feeling like there was a lot of pressure on you, especially emotionally, um, or maybe you had been trying to just keep yourself so preoccupied or so busy so that you didn't have to uh, think about whatever it was that you were going through emotionally, I feel like that's coming to an end. I feel like you're going to be moving uh, into a better state of mind, um, more peaceful state of mind. Um, I feel like you're going communication wise, like communication is running more smoothly for you. Now, something also looks like a voyage or a trip. So I don't know if you're getting ready to take some sort of a vacation uh, or if you have like a visitor coming towards you. Hmm. It does look like someone is coming from a distance or has been traveling a lot. Um, okay, I'm getting something about someone pulling over so that they can focus. So I don't know if you drive for a living uh, or if you travel for a living, but I just kind of feel like I'm getting an image of somebody pulling over and saying I need I need to just kind of take it pull over so I can um, You know gather my thoughts and You know focus I'm also getting here about you Having some sort of determination there's something that you're wanting to do or pursue, and I feel like you're having an opportunity to pursue pursue your dreams, or maybe now is the time to do so. Something that you um, have been procrastinating, or you know, it, it's like saying now is the time. Yeah, definitely looks like you're pursuing your dreams or your passions. In a love situation, I feel like somebody is being pursued, whether you are the pursuer or someone is coming towards you. But I feel like someone has, um, they're kind of playing something by ear. I feel like someone is being guarded with, you know, what they want to say or they're like, okay, I'm just going to play this by ear. I'm not going to put too many expectations into something because I'm guarded. You know, I don't want my feelings to get hurt. Um, I don't even know if you're trustworthy. You know, so something's going on where someone is thinking like that, whether it's you or your pursuer. And then I feel like they're coming towards you or you're going towards someone. Um, but it does look like preparing to express feelings. I, I get like there's a surge in confidence. Uh, this also looks like mutual attraction. Someone might be coming towards you where the two of you are going to be creative partners. Maybe it's business related. And you're bouncing ideas off of one another. Definitely looks like someone's uh, had some sort of spiritual awakening. I almost want to say like your third eye is doing all the work. <laughs> Just calm down. Someone does have, <clears throat> excuse me, some sort of vision or foresight. Someone's very good at, uh, have has very good intuition. Mm. I keep getting something about traveling or a car. I don't know if you're getting ready to purchase a car. Spiritually, I feel like someone is maybe learning how to astral travel or how to become lucid in dreams and explore like parallel universes. Mm. But I feel like either way, you're moving in some sort of positive direction. Now, also, 6-6 six, six could be of some sort of significance to you. You may, may be seeing that number. Maybe that's uh, signs for you to pay attention or to confirm something coming your way. I feel like someone is going to... Um, 
someone needs encouragement. You might need encouragement to keep pushing through a dark situation or a dark time. Um, I feel like something's going on where you start off being courageous and then you start to have anxiety. Those, those questions start haunting you. What if I'm making a mistake? What if I'm going in the wrong direction? What if this? What if that? Um, so I feel like you're, you're getting triggered emotionally and all those fears kind of come back up. I feel like you're needing to just keep pushing yourself. If there's something that you're doing and you kind of start getting hesitant, I feel like, no, keep going, keep going. Because those fears that you're having are baseless. This is something that you need to do. Um, these fears are going to continue to haunt you until you deal with them head on. But that's why you need to put your armor on and deal with some sort of situation where you're going to have to navigate some sort of emotional traumas here. For some of you, you also may need to learn about detachment and learn about confidence. I feel like something's happening at night. Something happens at night or when it's dark. Something that you're seeing. So you might may be seeing some really unusual things at night from a spiritual standpoint. You may be seeing a lot of unusual things. You're getting ready to embark in uncharted territories. Um, I feel like you're getting ready to take some sort of a risk. Um, it's like you are being a fool because you don't know what you're getting into. But at the same time, this is a path of some sort of self-discovery. Like something must have happened where maybe you felt lost or unsure about your path. And so I feel like something is now happening where you have to go down a rabbit hole. You have to explore the unknown. Um, maybe you've gotten too comfortable or something, but I feel like you're getting ready to start some sort of a new journey uh, of self-discovery, but it does require navigating through these um, emotional feelings that you may have suppressed. And I feel too like something's also going on where maybe you thought you healed. You're like, I'm healed. And I feel like this is saying, no, you haven't healed. You've just been hiding um, in a shell. Like that's not how you heal, by being guarded or pushing people away. So maybe you're also coming to that realization. Definitely a lot of water energy. So you could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Maybe also Leo or Aquarius. I almost feel too like somebody might start crying in front of people. And that's not normally something that you would do. But it's like Maybe it needs to happen so that you can heal. Yeah, some of you are needing to deal with your abandonment issues and your fears of rejections. Like you need to get to the core of it. Like. Why do you have trust issues? Why do you have abandonment issues? Who did what to you? Who hurt you? So there's a need for you to start digging deep. And it looks like every time someone touches a nerve, you're like, no, I don't want to do this anymore. I can't go any further. And it's just like, when that happens, no, just keep challenging yourself. Keep going.
somebody also has a fear of being poor. I'm not sure who that is, but someone does have a fear about fear of being poor. It's like, where's that fear coming from? There's definitely feelings of loneliness that might get triggered or just feeling like a, a void, feeling lost. Somebody feels lost or something happens where maybe you feel suddenly, it, I feel like it comes out of nowhere where you just feel lost. Now, because too, there are so many emotions coming out and mutual energies with the sixes, I feel like this is also part of being an empath. So also keep in mind that sometimes um, feelings that come out of nowhere may not be your own. You may be tapped into someone else's energy. Someone also may be trying to get your attention indirectly. Um, and you know, you just may be tapped into someone else's energy someone else's uh, cries for help or attention. Yeah, it does look like somebody is maybe suffering in silence. Could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Ooh, I feel like I'm having a deja vu. Yeah, something could be going on where maybe you are moving on from a fire sign or a fire sign could be moving on from you or you're ignoring a fire sign, completely becoming detached with them. It also looks like maybe you are unaware of someone that is coming towards you. Hmm. Somebody wants to be left alone. I feel like you do. There could be someone that is trying to get your attention or bothering you, but it looks like you just want to be left alone. I feel like maybe someone also maybe keeps trying to be your friend. And it looks like you keep saying no, or you are not you're not attracted to someone or you don't want to make some sort of decision. Hmm. The chariot just looks like it's getting it's some sort of um some sort of a breakthrough. Like you're getting ready to confront these anxieties or deal with whatever it is that gives you anxiety. And it does look like something coming to your home or changes to your home. Yeah, somebody, it does look like someone's coming from a distance. There's some sort of travel involved. Hmm. 
if it doesn't happen within, you know, the month of February, then I feel like this is something that may happen in springtime. Also looks like you are moving on from someone. Like you've had, you have closure. I feel like you have closure and you're just moving on. Now it also looks like you're blocking somebody. I feel like you're not interested. I feel like maybe someone feels like they're the answer to your prayers, but you don't feel that way. Or you're in denial of something or you just aren't ready to hear this person. Seems like either way there's some sort of opportunity coming towards you, but you know, you might be very guarded in regards to, you know, what it is or who it is. You're like, I don't know if I could trust this opportunity. It's like you you're I feel like you're gonna do it. You're gonna take a chance, but you're protecting yourself at the same time. You're prepared for anything to happen or you're trying not to have expectations. So again, going back to just going with the flow of things. Someone is going to try and be romantic with you. Something may start off as a friendship. I feel like someone is nervous about approaching you emotionally or someone is nervous about revealing that the fact that they even have feelings. feeling like if there is someone coming towards you romantically you're blocking that energy I don't know if this person is not your type or if you just don't want to be attracted to this person there may be a lot of people stroking your ego but maybe it's just not coming from the type of people that you would be interested in um hmm And again, something looks like a, a secret trip. Yeah. So you'll see, especially about that trip part or relocating, that just keeps popping up. So hopefully, eventually, that will make sense to you. All right, so let's go ahead and move on to deck number three. We have the Ten of Swords, the Knight of Wands, the Magician, Two of Cups, Seven of Swords, Overall Energy, King of Swords, we have Keeper of Secrets, and the Moon. All right, so for some of you, I feel like something is deep, like there's a deep connection that maybe you're having with someone or you may feel like you are in a sunken place or you have fallen somewhere very deep and don't really know how to get back out. Um, 
someone also may be giving you some sort of guidance about how to get out of this deepness that you've sunk into. Mm, I'm getting something about meditated guidance. Maybe that's something that you're needing to do. Um, maybe that is something that you do for a living to help others. Mm. And I'm also getting something about past life regression. I feel like somebody is meditating and trying to get clarity, to have some sort of understanding about their purpose or about the path that they're on. You may have been having dreams of encouragement. You also may have been receiving unusual dreams, especially on full moons. Hmm. I feel like you're being called. You're being called or channeled to do something, maybe to speak or to teach. You also may be having anxiety as you wait for some sort of response uh, or some sort of news or results. Like you're, you're like, I'm dying here. Like what's going on? What's the answers? Am I healthy? Uh, do I have the job? Um, will I meet someone? Like something's going on and I feel like you're waiting for a response. Um, and you're trying to be patient. Mm. You also may be receiving a lot of spirit messages or uh, messages from spirit animals, rather, uh, especially birds. Mm. I also feel like maybe someone is coming off as one who holds secrets. So this is a keeper of the sacred, or I said secrets, keeper of the sacred, but I'm, I'm also getting someone who has the key to unlock all the secrets or someone who is responsible for a lot of secrets or a lot of hidden knowledge. Now, you also may be suffering or dealing with some sort of loss or ending. I feel that something also may have happened where now you have changed your whole perspective on life, spirituality, relationships. I don't know what it is, but it just looks like um, it looks like you had to undergo some sort of death like a little part of you has died and been released uh, into the universe you also could have done some sort of ritual work where you've been doing a lot of releasing cleaning out negative energy um, asking for clarity because I feel like you've you're tired of being scarred or you're tired of being hurt or disappointed and you have been undergoing a lot of deep lessons like the lessons you've been going through they haven't been surface they've been deep I'm feeling too like someone has a hidden gift or talent or like Someone has a line of psychics that runs in a family and you may be the one that was chosen to continue with this line of work. Or someone was a shaman in their family or some sort of spiritual healer. Mm. 
something's going on too where you may temporarily try to distract yourself um, from something you're going through. Maybe you're watching a lot of movies, a lot of comedies, listening to music, um, just trying to entertain yourself, trying to motivate yourself so that you can get to the healing part. You also may have cut ties with either an air sign or a fire sign. Now, I feel like you have been trying to manifest um, a match. There's something that you need and you've been trying to manifest it. Now, definitely looks like a relationship, um, but it can be anything. Uh, the perfect something for you. Um, maybe you've been also doing any type of water spells, money spells, or spells that deal with water. Feel like you've been working with that element. And again, it makes me think of that two cup manifestation. So maybe some of you guys have been doing that. Um, and whether it works or not, you have to see. Hmm. I feel like you guys have multiple gifts and abilities. And this is also indicating that you have the power to manifest something that you want. I don't know what you want exactly, but it's showing that you are tapped into some sort of energy and you know how to pull it up and pull it out and make something work for you. So... I feel like you are manipulating energies around you. You're manipulating elements to get something to go in your favor. And manipulation in this case doesn't necessarily have to mean something bad. It just means that you're, you're working with energies and you're making something happen. You also could be doing something that is like a truth serum. So I don't know what you do but it gets someone to tell on themselves and spill the truth, spill the beans. Hmm. Some of you are unaware that you have self-destructive ways. Um, or maybe you're aware of it, but you're trying to work with it. You're like, okay, well, I know I'm self-destructive when I do this, but, you know, and you're just trying to make the best of it or maybe redirect the energy. Something's going on where you're trying to um, escape something too here. Hmm. You might need to figure out why you keep you know, intentionally sabotaging relationships or sabotaging your happiness. That's coming from somewhere deep. Mm. You also may be trying to avoid dealing with certain type of memories. Hmm. I'm getting something about something being stolen. Hmm. I got the name Abigail for somebody. So someone is also, this is also indicating that someone may be spying on you and I feel like they're taking something, something that they're leaving with. Someone definitely took someone's hairs. Someone's also been doing something at night in secret. I 
feel like if someone is snooping around the house, uh, you're going to be alarmed about it because either a dog is going to start barking or something gets disturbed while someone is trying to sneak and do something. I feel too like somebody's going to slip up and tell the truth. It may be a water sign or it has to do with the water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I don't know too if you're trying to confront a water sign about something. And I feel like they're trying to deny it, but I feel like they've also already been caught. You also, it may be exposed to or reveal that there's some jealousy going on. Someone is jealous or envious of your life or something that you have or something that you do. And I feel like it slips out in the way they say something or something that they say and you're like, Wow, you just told on yourself. Yep, and like I said, I feel like something gets triggered as someone is trying to get away with something. Like they, I'm getting something like an alarm tripping off. So I feel like you're going to be alerted about someone's deception. Even if something about spirits or ghosts give you some sort of warning. Hmm. You might find out that somebody tried to sabotage your happiness or your relationship. I feel like that is a water sign or an Aries. Or it's either someone's mother or father. You may also feel a sense of betrayal. I feel like you also may be feeling bad about, if you're a single parent, I feel like you're feeling bad about something, dealing with the children or the, the mother or the father of the child. There's some sort of guilt. I also feel that this is about someone needing to overcome their insecurities. Mm. Especially in regards to your physical appearance. Someone also may be considering surgery or something to change their appearance. There also may be some sort of fertility issues and a fear to try again. Uh, a previous surgery also may have damaged something, which is making it difficult to get pregnant. So like if someone had several abortions, I feel like the scar tissue is making it difficult to conceive.
Now I'm also getting that the magician in a love situation is somebody trying to show you in a clever way that they love you or that they care about you. Or they're giving you a response. They're responding to you uh, disguised as someone else or in any type of way that's indirect. You also may find out that someone is going through a breakup or someone broke up. Yeah, someone is now single. But it's also coming off that someone is single either because they got caught cheating or they caught their partner cheating. Um, yeah. I feel like somebody's trying to share something with you in a clever way. Someone still has too much anxiety to come at you directly. And I, I'm thinking of Nirvana's song, Come As You Are. Um, I feel like I need to listen to the lyrics to that. It, I think there's a message in that. Um, yeah, Come As You Are. Because someone keeps hiding or someone keeps masquerading as someone they're not. And I feel like someone has had numerous opp opportunities to come clean, but they won't. But I feel like someone, someone's going to get tripped up. If this is a dating situation, I feel like what brings two people together is that they have similar spiritual beliefs or similar backgrounds, similar career backgrounds or spiritual beliefs. Ooh, Two of Cups is indicating that... Okay, I see it as two ways. I feel like this is about two people who broke up getting back together. And I also just feel like somebody did break up with somebody for cheating because they got caught cheating. Somebody did sabotage a relationship. I feel like someone was envious. Mm. You may also cut ties with people who you found out were actually your enemies. Um, anyone who's been talking behind your back. Mm. but the the positive part about two people getting back together I feel like somebody was holding a grudge but now they're ready to let go of that grudge something's going on with a fire sign and maybe an air sign Libra, Gemini, Aquarius Yeah, so those are the messages that I have for you guys, but hopefully uh, something will resonate. Feel free to leave your comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Sending you love and grace.